four, three, two, Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm in beautiful Mount Laurel, New Jersey, outside of NFL Films headquarters for the NFL Broadcast Boot Camp, where players, both current and retired, are here to learn how to become the TV and radio stars of tomorrow. Let's go take a look. How did this group get assembled of the campers that are here? I know that they had almost 100 applicants, and out of those uh, near 100, they chose the 19 that are here. It's four intense days of exposing the players to every facet of the business so that they can make a determination whether they've got the skill set necessary to be successful in what they decide to pursue or not to pursue. When you're out there on the field, it's all about your physical prowess. When you come here, it's different. One-liners, wit, everything. I mean, the locker room is just so Neanderthalish. I yep. mean, the behaviors there just aren't really up to what's going on in corporate America. So it takes some time to be able to adjust, to get comfortable. These are guys that are accomplished at what they have done for most of their life. And all of a sudden, they're 28, 30 years old, and they're starting over. I'm basically a rookie at broadcasting right now. I just did some play-by-play uh, -play and I don't think I was very good at it, so I don't know <laughs> if that's my thing. What do you look for when they come in? Obviously there are bad habits that you want to reverse. Is there something that you see a lot I'm of? I'm having trouble hearing you, I'm so sorry. Really? Slow down just okay. a little bit with a breath. As natural as you want to be, Dan. Okay. Three, two, what are some of the things you look for when you look at these players? Feel the difference? I, that actually felt really good. Yeah. I like that a lot. I know. I started in this while I was still playing because I felt like I, maybe I wanted to have a chance on my off days. On Tuesday, I would get up at 5.30 in the morning and I'd go be a radio intern until I got my own show and my TV and things of that nature. So it's intimidating to a degree. It's been great for me so far. What has been the biggest challenge transitioning? Being able to criticize my former teammates. It was difficult to do that, and I had to come to a point where I said, what would I say to those guys if I was in the locker room with them? These guys have all played different positions, but if you're going to really get a true perspective on the game as an offensive lineman, you know, you better understand coverages. You better understand pass routes. So that takes a little bit of time because it's new to them. There are very few, though, that are able to do it day one, like most of us with anything. I mean, rarely do you show up with anything in life and you know how to do it from the first start. The fact that they're here is a testament to their commitment to want to be great in the broadcast business. They now understand it's the same commitment you make as a broadcaster as you do as a player. All of that to be synthesized into what folks would tell them at the end of the day, be yourself.